Hello, it's Megan, and we're ordering our tools. Woohoo! I'm so excited for you. I've designed this course for um, this tool list to be as bare minimum as possible. I've worked really hard to put this list together and work with different vendors and um, so that you can you don't have to spend a huge investment on tools right just to get started. Um, so all of the tools that we need for this class are fit right inside this box, which is really cool because you can actually put this away after you're working every day. So if you happen to be someone that doesn't have a lot of space or doesn't have your own studio or extra room or garage or something like that, all you have to do is pack up your tools in this box and then put it on a shelf or under a bed or in a cabinet. Um, the only thing that doesn't fit in the box is this pan. So this is just, this is actually like a, a broiler pan, I think. And I got this at a thrift store so you can go to Goodwill or something and just get a used one if you don't want to pull one out of your cabinet at home and I like the broiler pans because there's a little bit more surface area so but you can still use a, like a cookie a sheet pan or um, a cake baking pan you know like those 9 by 13 ones um, I just happen to like the broiler one because there's a little bit more surface area on it so that's that. I'm going to go through this box one by one. It doesn't take very long because there's not a lot in it. Um, so first of all, we're going to be using a bench pin and this is going to go on your table. So um, I think there's like a two and a half inch um, space here. So if your table is really super thick, like three inches, this isn't going to work. So this is going to have to go on a table that's, you know, two and a half inches or less. Um, let's see, we, uh, one of the things that's on the list that you won't be able, well you can actually order this from Rio, but you have to order I think a whole box. This you could get, just get at a hardware store. It's a mask um, and you can just get like one or two at the hardware store so you don't have to buy a whole box if you don't want to. Um, we've got some safety goggles here. Safety first. Um, we have a quenching cup so one thing you're going to want to do is grab a glass that you don't need to drink out of again and it will only be for silversmithing. And this is some butane. Um, this butane happens to be from the hardware store and it's the kind that you fill lighters with. Um, in a pinch, if you run out of fuel, you can run over to the hardware store and just get some butane. It's, a, it's not as clean as the butane that you can get um, on Rio. And also I can share a link for an Amazon order or two that's like five times refined. So, um, but if you're, you're in a pinch like me, cause I've run out, <laughs> you can just run over to the hardware store. This is our butane torch. And I love these. I've been using these for a, quite a few years now. I will show you later how to like, you know, set up, and get an oxygen tank and get the regulator and, and the jeweler's torch and all of that. But you know, that whole setup is probably like two or $300 and you need to chain it to the wall and things like that. So this is portable. It's really easy to use. I like the flame size on, on this torch. Um, you know, there's another butane torch out there called the blazer it's more expensive and i just don't think it gets as hot even though it's supposed to be hotter but this one i like a lot we have a rawhide mallet so we're gonna be hitting things and hammering things a lot um specifically on this bench block this side is uh, plastic and then we have a metal side you only ever want to use the metal side if you're like stamping jewelry, which I can show you how to do as well in the Silversmithing Club. Um, but we're going to be using this rawhide mallet a lot on here. Now, just so you know, you can also use your table, but if you're working at your kitchen table or something like that, obviously you don't want to be hitting it. So just be aware of that. You need a bench block to help you out there. Um, this is a soldering block. I really like this type. It's called vermiculite. And we're going to use a ring mandrel steel ring mantle and this is a uh, ring sizer and so when you figure out what size ring you know size ring that you want to make for yourself um, you want to line it up with your mandrel we'll talk about that a little bit later and we have some more hammers these are texturing hammers this is a riveting hammer and this is a chasing hammer so these are the ones that we're going to be using to texture our pieces with we have a soldering pick some flush cutters this is an eye loop 
and this comes with a cord that you can just easily use around your neck because it's going to be your best friend. This is the one tool that you're going to be using all the time. And we have a vise. This one's kind of big. The ones that I have on the tool list are a little bit smaller, um, but this is also going to go on your table and so that you can put your pieces in here and um, work with them hands-free. We have our soldering paste, soldering tweezers, and lots of files. We're going to be getting into filing quite in depth. And lastly, actually here's some, this is copper wire, so if you want to, you can order copper and practice on it. It's, it's very inexpensive. I think it's like $5 for this entire spool. And then we're going to be using polishing papers and abrasion papers. Um, and so they come in different grits, and we're going to be using different ones. So these are abrasion papers, and these are polishing papers. And there's other ones to these as well. And that is it. That is all we're going to use to get started on this project, and it's very cool because we're talking about, you know, with shipping, I think like $250 for all the stuff that can fit inside a box, whereas like this, this is my bench right here, um, you know, this I probably, I don't know, spent a couple thousand dollars back when I bought all this stuff many, many years ago um, to get started, and it's just... It isn't necessary. Yes, do all of these things help you in your jewelry making? Of course they do. They make things faster and um, easier to work with, but you can very easily do all of this stuff to start with just this box of, of equipment. And this is how I've taught the over 100 students this very same class. And so um, just so you know, when I went to school, we had to learn um, like filing for eight hours a day. We had to learn um, polishing and abrasion, um, blending our work with just these papers. So everything I'm teaching you, I actually learned in school as well. So um, you're getting a really strong foundation here and I'm excited for you. So let's get your tools started. One thing I wanna mention is I'm really excited because I found, um, I have spent a lot of time putting this tool list together and working with different vendors to get you the best price. And I stumbled upon um, a new vendor that is going to drop ship tool kit for me. So I've put this, if you have no tools whatsoever, I've put a tool kit together that includes all of this stuff. And you, when you go to the tool list section um, in the portal, you can um, link right over to my website where you can purchase this toolkit and it actually is drop shipped to you right from the manufacturer which is amazing so that's exciting now if you have some tools and you don't need everything on the list I'm just you'll just go to the the second tool list and you'll it'll link you right over to Rio Grande and you'll order your tools from them um, unfortunately at this time I'm not able to like just kind of pick and choose what things you need and then have those things drop shipped to you from this vendor that I'm working with. Um, that's why I'll send you over to Rio Grande for that. Um, but that's it. So if you have any questions, just let me go, let me know and hop on over to um, your portal, download the tool lists and get your tools ordered. Yay. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.